So this is a photo of me and my dad, an old one, obviously. So my dad in November last year, he retired from working for a company that he'd worked for for 50 years, which to me sounds completely insane because you know, I'm on my third career change in my own company and, you know, people don't think that we would have a lot to talk about when it comes to career stuff, but we absolutely do. Because on my dad's very first day of work, he got given this tie pin and it had a little pair of shoes on it and he got told that this was to remind him to always put himself in his customer's shoes. All of the shoe puns aside, this whole idea of putting the customer at the heart of the business was my really first big lesson about doing business and it's absolutely what we do at Shoes of Prey. My mum and dad both worked in customer facing roles, my dad in insurance and my mum in banking. And this experience that they had and passed on and shared with me is some of the best stuff that I've learned when it comes to doing business, but then also the way you should treat people as well. And in my opinion, really, they should both be the same thing. Sometimes that's about going the extra mile. I remember one day, one of our happiness team, they were working with a bride and the bride had ordered her shoes with enough time for the wedding day, but she'd forgotten about her fitting where they did the length of the dress. And obviously that's important when you're dealing with heel height. Anyway, we're all holding our breath because the courier was bound to arrive at any second and the bride's appointment was getting closer and closer for the fitting. And all I remember seeing was the delivery guy coming with a parcel and then the customer happiness girl run out the door. And what she did was she had the parcel, she went and grabbed a bunch of flowers and turned up at the bride's appointment with the shoes and flowers to say, I hope you have a beautiful, fun wedding dress fitting. And I could never instruct someone to do that. It was just this great thing about that theory of, or that passion and belief that you should put customers at the heart of everything. On that, another thing that my dad taught me was to really listen. He said that people come away from conversations where you've listened and they feel like they were the best conversations that they ever had. Putting that into business practice, we do NPS surveys every day. Go look that up, I will do a video explaining what, a bit more about NPS in detail, but look it up, it's interesting. Um, and also listening and chatting with people through our social media channels so that we understand what they're looking for and what they need and know what changes we can make to make things better. Anyway, I thought I would just share two of the things that my dad has taught me that resonate for me today in my career, but obviously he taught me lots of other stuff too, like you know, riding a boogie board, riding a bike, you know, great pranks to play and playing bass guitar. Uh, hi dad, I love you. Thank you so much for everything. I know you watch these videos and <laughs> I'm grateful. <laughs> Surely you've heard great things from your parents too that have really resonated. What are they? Leave them in the comments. I would so love to hear them and I'd love to hear about how they've played into your career as well. Thank you so much for joining me this week. I hope you're having a good one and don't forget, do everything before you're ready. Bye.